Growing up, I was a mac and cheese freak. Any way I could get it, I took it. But I was, of course, partial to my mommy's. Even as an adult, it is understood when I visit, if the mac and cheese isn't in the oven when I walk in the door, some may write, for real. So between visits, I had to come up with something to hold me over, and lo and behold, I think I might have the mac and cheese gene. So now mine is baked with cheddar, spicy pepper jack, cayenne, and smoothed out with some sour cream, heavy cream, and half and half. Then, to give it my mom's curb appeal, buttery croutons top it off for a nice crunch. It's bananas. Now, with the pasta, of course, we're gonna bake this macaroni and cheese. It's not stove top macaroni and cheese, so we don't wanna overdo the boiling on the pasta, but what we do wanna do is make sure they're close to being done, so when we put them in the oven, not too far to go, all right? Nothing worse than macaroni and cheese that kind of falls apart. You just don't want to have the elbows going on in the situation. But what I'm going to do right now is start building my amazing macaroni and cheese. I could definitely do this in my sleep, but uh, I'm awake right now, so I'm going to show you how to get it done. I'm going to start with some flour. Now, if you're into macaroni and cheese, I'm sure you've had, like, the favorite of your family. So, you know, if you're a disciple of someone else, I'm totally respectful of that. But give this a try. It's pretty good. And I've worked on it for a long time, and I'm pretty happy with the process right now. So some dry mustard goes in with the flour. Some cayenne pepper for heat. I always cook with heat. And this is ground nutmeg, so I don't feel like losing any knuckle hairs today. You can go ahead and grind it fresh yourself if you like. So we've got that in there. What I want to do is add some sour cream, all right? And a little bit of black pepper and salt. A little sour cream. Looks good right there. Some black pepper. I love all kinds of heat. Black pepper, white pepper, red pepper. If it's got pepper at the end of it, I'm working with it. You already see I'm putting meatloaf and bell peppers. <laughs> All right, some salt's gonna go in there as well. Yeah, we salted the water with the macaroni. We wanna salt every layer of this dish because it's gonna be amazing. Let me get a whisk and work this out. So, all right, so I'm gonna put one egg in there. That's gonna help everything kind of hold together and make it mac and cheese. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So one egg, I'm gonna get some milk, actually some half and half and heavy cream. I'm gonna put that in. That's gonna help it be nice and creamy for us. The sour cream is gonna add like a little zip, a little kick to it. So that's amazing as well. I mean, this is all something that's gonna make you feel warm and just fuzzy on the inside. Hopefully it reminds you of home if you give it a try. And if you don't have your own macaroni and cheese recipe, you're more than welcome to give this one a try and work it into your repertoire. All right, so this is all ready to go. All I gotta do is add the cheddar cheese that's already pre-cubed, get it in the grocery store like this. If you're lucky like me, your grocery store doesn't charge you extra. So we'll put some of that in here with our already cooked elbows. That's cheddar, pepper jack, another layer of heat. That's going in there. And don't forget, we're gonna put some more cheese on the top when this is all done. I like to toss this in together so all the cheese is mixed in really nice. Pour it in the bowl. And we are steps away from the best macaroni and cheese, the most comforting food you've had in a long time. All right, here goes the big pour. I'm gonna put this in the oven, 350 degrees, about 45 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a little bit of butter. Now look, if you've had tons and tons of mac and cheese, I'm willing to bet maybe this might be the first time you've seen croutons on top. I can't quite remember how it started at home, but one time my mom put some croutons on the top and I was like, oh my God. And not the store-bought kind. It's definitely gonna be the ones that you make at home. So I've got three slices of bread right here that I've cubed up, real simple, just add them to the butter and we're gonna toast them. Sometimes when I come home, you know how I told you how I like to have the stuff sitting for me in the oven, the mac and cheese, I'll peek in and I'll say, wait a minute, where are the uh, croutons, mom? And it's kind of like that extra step that I make her do now that she didn't really know that she was gonna be roped into doing after she did it the first time. All right, so we're gonna let these start to kind of toast up, get nice and buttery before we drop them on top of the mac and cheese in the oven. Mac and cheese looks delicious, nice and bubbly. Oh my God, it's gonna taste great. Let me tell you, I really enjoy making foods that kind of remind me of home. And when we're talking comfort food, that's what it's all about. One bite can transport me back to washing the dishes after the meal is done. The mac and cheese is still bubbling. 
Looks so good. This is creamy. Now look, this looks like my mom's mac and cheese. But let me tell you, I had to come up with my own recipe because I'm convinced when my mom gave me hers, she left something out. Because I tried it so many times and I, it never tastes like hers, you know? Mmm. But it's still creamy like hers and delicious.